Hello, this is Colin with Maker Farm. In this video, we're going to finish up our uh, Prusa i3. Um, to do that, we're going to first start um, in the front. We are going to install our last end stop switch, which is our Y end stop. So what you're going to want to do is grab your end stop. Um, also grab this little piece here, this wooden piece. Then you're going to want to grab two of the number six half inch bolts and of course two nuts. What we're going to do, we're going to take this piece, uh, those two center holes are going to line up perfectly with your the holes in your end stop switch. And we're going to take a zip tie. Zip tie it on there. Pull it tight and cut off the excess. Okay, so it's going to sit on your wooden piece like that. Then all we need to do is take our little nuts and they're going to go in the front of our Prusa i3 here. And then this is going to slide in and in the outer two holes, we're going to put our nuts. Okay, and then when we're uh, when we're getting ready to set our home spots, we can move this in or out <laughs> as our heat bed hits it, so that we can set where we want our home to be for our Y end stop. Okay, the next one let's do is let's install our Ramps Electronics. It's going to go on this side over here. And you're going to want to get some ones that I'm using are M3 22 millimeter bolts. And we can just basically put the three bolts in. And we can line it up with some holes on our printer. some nuts on the back side there. Actually these bolts aren't long enough. We'll have to use 30 millimeter bolts. Okay, so we've got that. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is install our glass for our heat bed. Um, I haven't decided yet if we're going to include the glass in the kit. Sometimes when we did in the past, they would end up breaking. Um, so I'm not sure if we're going to do 
include the glass or if you'll just go source your own. You don't need to use special glass. You can go get glass from any hardware store. I can go to my local hardware store and they'll cut this glass out and it'll be, you know, like two bucks for that, okay? So what you're gonna do with your glass, um, instead of using cap on tape like we did in the past, we actually use um, some extreme hairspray. This is Garnier Fructis hairspray. It's number five, it's extreme. And all you do is just spray that on the surface of the glass instead of using cap on tape. Um, and it works much, much better, okay? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna put our glass here. We're gonna get a couple of these binder clips. And all we do is just put them on front and back, holding our glass in place. Make sure you don't do it on top of the uh, wires, because that won't work, but that's all we have to do to secure our glass onto our heat bed. Um, the next thing that we're gonna do is all of our wires, if you notice, we've got wires coming out of everywhere. We've got wires for each motor. And what we want to do in, uh, there's a few spots in the printer frame where there's cutouts, where you can actually run your wires and then we can zip tie them so that they're nice and neat. Um, we're not gonna make a mess. We need to get them the correct length though. So if you see this one here, we can run our Z wire motor and our X motor down and into that little hole. And then on the other side, it's gonna run all the way through. Now granted, we don't want this one tight because this is going to be going all the way up. So we wanna make sure to give it some slack there like this, but then once we feel we have enough slack in that, we can then zip tie these in place with this hole right here, these two holes. Another one just on the opposite side over by our electronics that you'll do the same thing with once you get all of your wires over there and run them into there. Also for your Y end stop wire we can run it around here, we can run this one down here, and we can zip tie them right into this spot. Uh, but before we zip tie the rest of those wires, we need to put our hot end on. In the previous video, we showed you how to go build your hot end as well as your extruder. Um, now at this point, we're going to just install it. And all we need to do is go ahead and get our M4 nuts. And the M4 nuts are going to go right here and right here in our extruder. We can then put this whole assembly down. Get our bolts. And tighten that up. Same for our other side. Like that. And I'll finish tightening that up later. Okay. Well, then what we're going to do, we've got our Y motor, or sorry, our X motor belt here. It's really loose. So what we can do is we can move this motor back and forth 
on this side and we're going to tighten that up. So what we want to do is just pull it so it's nice and tight. And just tighten those set screws up. So now we've got that tight. If you haven't already tightened up your Y motor down here, make sure to do that same thing, loosen it up, pull it to get that belt tight. Okay, now other than that, I believe it's just wiring everything up. And we can go ahead and take our wires here for our extruder, the hot end, and our end stop. There's some holes right up at the top here where we can zip tie those into place. Of course, you want to make sure to leave some slack so that they can move as that hot end is moving back and forth and up and down. You can also use some wire wrap um, after this is all done to make sure that these wires stay together and that they look neat. And for our LCD, We just plug that in top here, in the top of our electronics. Just like that. And now we're gonna plug in some of our electronics. This is the thermistor for our hot end, which goes in T0. This is our motor for our extruder, which goes over here. We're going to have the red wire on top. Like that. We've got our end stop for our Z axis, which is going to go over on this side. So XYZ, of course, make sure you look at your uh, diagram off of the website to know where to plug these in. These two wires are from the hot end, so that is going to go into D10. So that was all those top wires. Okay, next one we're gonna do, this is our, I'm sorry, that was not our Z, that was our X. This is our Z. It's gonna go right there. Bring around our Y. Here's our thermistor for our hot end, or for our heat bed. These are gonna go, these are heat bed wires and they're gonna go in D8. Okay, so there's D8. We've got our Z motors. You notice I already changed the ends to our Z motors so that they will fit. Let's see this one here. It's going to be our X. This one here's our Y. And I might have 
made those too short. I also have to make extensions for those. But that's your XYZ. That's basically all the wiring other than uh, just putting zip ties on it, putting some cable wraps on it to make sure it looks clean. Um, or even just zip tying them down here on the side so that it keeps it clean. Um, but that is how to uh, build your Prusa i3. Um, other than that, it's uh, doing firmware. Um, and then we might do another video to show you um, some of the use of your LCD up here. If you have any questions, feel free to go to makerfarm.com. We have email and uh, contact information there where you can email us. You can also uh, chat with us on Google Chat if you have any questions. Thank you.